five footballers who are guaranteed to become FIFA icons. Some of the players included might be controversial, but keep watching. If you want the cheapest and the safest FIFA 19 coins via comfort trade, then head over to MuleFactory.com and use the discount code TINIO for 5% off. After footballers complete their careers, if they had a successful career, they would become FIFA legends. But as of recent, if you have a successful career, you become a FIFA icon card on FIFA Ultimate Team. And do I have five insane footballers for you who I can guarantee I'm going to be FIFA icons in the upcoming years. But welcome to five footballers who will get icon cards in FIFA. Before you continue watching, make sure to comment down below a player you think will get an icon card in one of the upcoming FIFA. It can be in one year, it can be five years, it can be in ten years. Just let me know in the comment section below which footballer you think will get an icon card. For me, I can see Emil Heskey getting an icon card. If you really think about it, EA have given worse players icon cards, so I wouldn't put it past them. So starting off this video, we have got Mr. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney started off his FIFA journey as an 89 rated Manchester United card at the centre forward position. He proceeded to continue his career at Manchester United winning so much until FIFA 17 when he finally made the move back to his childhood club which was Everton. And then one FIFA edition later, FIFA 18, Wayne Rooney made his mark in the United States. And that was for DC United, where he is still playing his football today. The man who just got his 120th cap for England and England's all-time highest goal scorer. And if that isn't enough for you, this man at club level has won a Champions League, five Premier League titles, four English League Cups, an FA Cup, a FIFA Club World Cup, a Europa League, and a Player of the Year in 2009-2010 season. Hey, you, yeah, you watching this? You have to click the like and subscribe button in the next five seconds or you'll get a week of bad luck. This includes stepping on Lego every single day and I don't want to see that happen to you, so make sure to click the like and subscribe button now so this doesn't happen. I genuinely find it kind of mad because Wayne really started insane at a young age so he kind of like fatigued towards the end of his career and I feel like he doesn't get the respect he deserves if you really think about what he's done at more the earlier stages of his career or even his prime it was ridiculous for all of you who want FIFA evidence of that this man got a team of the year in FIFA 12 million he was in the best 11 players in the world how many 90 rated Rooney cards were they they don't really give those out for free at all and he had so many 90 rated cards this man has to get an icon card if he genuinely doesn't get an icon card my mind will be blown. What you were going to see was going to be insane and such a good viewing, but then I realised all of you are going to get infuriated in the comment section below. I thought it would be cool to show all three icon cards, because now you have the baby version, the middle version, and the prime, but then I realised I'm just going to infuriate everyone because the stats are going to be so off. Maybe if I show one card, then you'll give me more leanway, but imagine I show three cards and then you disagree with all of the stats and the ratings. So in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, if we do see a prime Wayne Rooney icon card, I believe it's going to be 92 rated. We're not going to talk about the stats because that's too specific and subjective. The next player who I'm certain is guaranteed an icon card, Mr. Cristiano Ronaldo. All true Cristiano Ronaldo fans would know he started off as a Manchester United card on FIFA 10. And then the journey of the player we know today on FIFA 11 is when he moved to Real Madrid. So here's my justification on why he's going to be an icon card and what racing I think his prime icon cards will be. The amount of years Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, who we may or may not be coming on to, in a second. The amount of years these guys have been at the top is actually outrageous. I can't think of a time in my lifetime where it wasn't Messi and Ronaldo at the top battling and out together. Can you? Guys, make sure to get your popcorn because we're going to be here for a while reading out every single trophy Cristiano Ronaldo has won. Cristiano Ronaldo possesses five Ballon d'Ors, five UEFA Best Players in Europe, Player of the Year for Manchester United, and if that isn't good enough, he is Real Madrid's all-time highest goal scorer in history. But now the trophies. Oh, Jesus. Cristiano has won the Premier League three times, the Champions League five times, the FA Cup once, the English League Cup twice, can't even to talk about all the others, we'll be here forever. And one thing what Messi can't join in on, he has an international trophy, being a European Cup. Imagine if he wins the Serie A, that's another trophy to add to his locker, that would be outrageous, but imagine if he wins the Champions League four times in a row, he's won it three times in a row, Real Madrid. Imagine if the fourth is you with Juventus, Cristiano is in an exclusive club of having a 99 rated card on FIFA. 
He's been in that club six times because he has 699 rated cards in FIFA history, which in my eyes justifies him getting a 99 rated prime icon card. But for all of you Messi fans, please keep watching. I've given Cristiano a 99 rated prime icon card, but with the Messi one, you're going to want to keep watching to find out what I give Messi because we know he's going to be an icon. Next, we're going to be talking about Ibrahimovic, the man who started his FIFA journey with a Barcelona card, but his actual football journey at Malmo. And then Ajax, Barcelona, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Paris Saint Germain, Manchester United, and now he's enjoying his days in America for LA Galaxy. There's to Zlatan, you just can't hate this guy, you genuinely can't. Zlatan is 37, still playing for LA Galaxy being 85 rated, which means he's 37 keeping these high standards, come on boys. It's just written in the stars. He's had some insane FIFA cards throughout the years. He even used to have five-star skills for a few seasons. On the screen, I'm going to be showing you his trophy count. Thank you. Google Images because I genuinely can't count to a number that high because he's won so many trophies. Guys, if this guy gets a prime icon card, I couldn't even tell you what racing it is because if I had to guess, I'd say 92, but then I thought that's underappreciated. But then I feel like all icons are underappreciated because Prime on is only 93 rated and this guy tore up every defence in the Premier League so it's kind of as hard to judge. I feel like the whole icons ratings are completely off so it's hard to really get a grasp on what rating Prime Zlatan Ibrahimovic would be. We've already discussed Cristiano Ronaldo and everyone knows you can't have this conversation without bringing Lionel Messi into the equation. Messi has had so many Barcelona cards throughout the years a one club man, which we respect loyalty. He's had so many different color special cards. I have lost counts. So many 90 rated, that's a lot of nines. Why do we have to bring him into the equation, you ask? Lionel Messi has five Ballon d'Ors in his trophy cabinet, three UEFA best players in Europe, and three player of the years. He has four Champions League, which is one less than Cristiano Ronaldo, but he's still got a couple years behind him. Nine Spanish league titles, six Spanish cup winners, eight Spanish Super Cup winners, six FIFA Club World Cup winners, three UEFA Super Cup winners, and an Olympic gold medal. Like, what? Out of everything, how do you have that? So in FIFA history, did you know Lionel Messi has been 99 rated three times? That just blows my mind. 99 is the highest you can get on FIFA, meaning you've hit the peak. That means you are the world best. And I don't even care that Cristiano Ronaldo has done it six times. Lionel Messi's done it three times. And in my books, if you've hit 99 rated that many times, if you get an icon card, it has to be 99 rated. Well, the prime version anyway. So my guess is we're going to see a 99 rated prime icon Messi, but hopefully not for another 10 years because I want as much Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo action as I can get. It's honestly been the best footballers going at it. I do have to point out, Lionel Messi gets like 98 rated on FIFA almost like every year. You do need to take into consideration Ronaldo is on the cover of FIFA as of recent meaning they're going to favour him over Lionel Messi, so please take that into consideration with the information I have just told you. Hopefully we also get a few more years of Ronaldo as well. He's still 33 doing madnesses, like he scored that insane goal against Manchester United in Champions League. He's still got it, he's still at his peak. I don't care if it's probably too early to predict or call this, or even consider it, considering the man is a teenager. Kylian Mbappe is 19 years old, and I genuinely believe... We are going to be seeing an icon card from Mbappe in the future. I bet you didn't know, Kylian Mbappe has outscored Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo at the age of 19. He scored way more goals than they did, and when they were both 19, everyone was like, Jesus Christ, they are going to be the next best players in the world. And no one was wrong. But one thing Cristiano Ronaldo didn't do at 19 years old, or Lionel Messi didn't do at 19 years old, is win a World Cup. Who does that at 19? That is insane. And it's not like he just participated. He's on the subs bench. He was in the action. Mbappe scored in a World Cup final at 19. He's 19 doing all of these madnesses yet. Honestly, if he keeps it up, he's going to be at Messi and Ronaldo heights. But that's if he keeps it up. And he still has a lot to prove. But... I can see it happening. 87 rated at 19 is just scary. At 18, he was tearing up defenses with Monaco. Now he's 19 at PSG, 
Kane alongside Neymar is just set up for them to take over. And I don't want to hear any of you commenting, well, Pele scored at the World Cup final at 17. Listen, we're not all Pele. Now you're probably like, okay, Alfie, you're predicting this guy to be an icon card in like 15 years because he's not even near his prime. Like, most players hit their prime at like 27, 28. The guy's 19. That means you're not going to be retiring for like 15 years minimum. So the moment you have all been waiting for, what rating do I think Prime and Mbappe will be if he gets an icon cards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Prime and Mbappe will be. His name starts with an X and ends with a Dino. Got skills like Ronaldinho, calling the special one with no Mourinho. Pax nice, funny. Put it this channel, it shows it all. He's the biggest in the game, getting more girls than Logan Paul. But you know that he keeps his virginity because he never loses. Up those bangers, get a hell of views. Doesn't care about the revenue. True. Because he cares about you and the viewers with content he likes to provide. So before you go, make sure you click the buttons to like and subscribe.